Alright guys, today we're gonna make an amazing picture of the sea! Hi everyone! Sammy, why did you bring a palette and paint? Huh? And how are we gonna draw without paint? So I'm surprised at you! Oh, Sammy, we don't need paint. We'll make a panel of epoxy resin. Epoxy resin? Does this mean that my preparations were for nothing? Sammy, I'm sure you'll be fascinated by the epoxy resin art. Guys, you'll definitely need to try this at home. It's very easy, even if you're a beginner. Fine, Sue, so tell me more about that epoxy resin. Well, it is a special polymer used for resin art, creating jewelry and even furniture. Mixed with a hardener, it becomes solid so you have limited time to finish your artwork. Huh, but it's absolutely transparent! How are we gonna create the sea with it? We'll use pigments for that. By mixing them with the epoxy resin, you can get any color you want. Now you're joking, our sea will look so real that you'll be able to actually feel the breeze! <laughs> well, we'll see. First, let's recall the safety measures while working with these materials. Okay, Susie, I'm ready to take notes. We should do everything properly. It's all quite simple. We'll need a respirator and nitrile gloves. Luckily, I'm a slime and don't need measures like that, but you guys should be careful. And only work in a well-ventilated space. So now we're ready to start. This is our artboard for epoxy resin. Looks good, huh? And it's already protected from staining. It's easy to use the tape, guys, but be careful and don't wrap yourself up like I once did. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy always does his best, don't you agree? Let's place the artboard on a stand made of these glasses. Perfect. We'll use a cup and scales to measure the ingredients. Fill the measuring cup with epoxy resin just like this. Guys, read the instructions carefully to use the right proportions. Wow, it's so syrupy, mesmerizing. I think that'll be enough. It's time to add some hardener. Pour it slowly in a trickle. All right, just like this. <sighs> Sammy! Yeah, you little hobo, what is it? It's time to mix the resin with the hardener. Oopsie, I thought I closed my eyes for just a second. Is something stuck to my back? Hey, can you see? <laughs> sure. Ugh. Oh, it's a wooden stick. That's just what we needed right now. All right, you should mix it right away to prevent it from warming up for five to seven minutes. Then pour it into another cup and mix again for two minutes more. Right you are. Let's do that. Guys, you might want to ask an adult to help you with this craft. Feel free to do it. Plus, it's more fun creating together. Resin is ready. Now let's pour it into plastic cups to color it with pigments. We'll have three different hues to make our sea the most realistic as possible. And the last glass. Here we go. Great. Finally, let's make it colorful. <laughs> You're so excited. What color should we make first? Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to pick one. Uh, can we make three at once? Mm, let's take a little bit of this color. We can always add more if needed. Wow, this is the color for the shallow water. Cool. <laughs> and this is the color for the deepest parts of the sea. <laughs> awesome, right? And here comes my favorite Asher color. We'll use it for the middle waters. Check this out. It turns out so beautiful. Holy cannoli, it's like real seawater in a cup. We still need to make the sand color. Do you want to try? Huh, uh, yeah, sure, give it to me. Guys, for the next step, it's better to wear gloves. Huh? <laughs> Done. So check out this cool color I made. Oh, awesome, Sammy. Let's pour it here.
We mixed the resin with some tiny stones and glass bits to make the toast look more realistic. Wow, Huey came out so cool! Oh yeah, Sammy, you did a great job with the pigment. The last thing to prepare is an epoxy resin for the white sea waves. Watch closely, guys. Although I'm sure you already got how to mix it, right? Sea colors, sand, waves, everything is ready. Let's finally start painting. Yep, all preparations are completed. So what are we gonna do now? Let's start with the sand. Imagine where the coast will be, and then pour the resin out. <gasps> it's better to start from the edge of the artboard. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> you can use a popsicle stick to spread the resin evenly on the board. Carefully, though, don't rush this way. Cheddar, so what? We don't even need any brushes? Yeah, nothing at all. Just use your imagination and the resin will do the rest. <laughs> Let's add some decor to our coastline. I'll use glass fragments. They look like crystals, huh? Wow, coral fragments. Let's start with them, Sue. Okay, here we go. Place them wherever you want. Enough suing up! Leave some space for other decorations, too! And now let's randomly put some stones this way. Oh, Sue, I like it! Let's add some more and more! Okay, we're done here. Now let's create the most amazing sea! I'm dead to see! I'm ready! <laughs> then let's start with the coastal zone. We'll put the lightest blue color here. Pour it carefully. Don't rush. All right, use less resin when you move to the middle, like this. Don't be afraid and just have fun. So let's use the next color. I want to see how they'll blend together. Then it's time for this one. <laughs> Here we go. Don't be afraid if the colors mix together. It'll create the most beautiful gradient effect. Pour it slowly and enjoy the process. It's like a meditation. Very relaxing, I should say. Time for the most intense blue color! Let's pour this color out. Oh, we moved to the deepest part of the sea! Uh, so the real sea doesn't have those clear lines. Can we fix that? Yes. We need a simple popsicle stick for that. Okay, watch this. This way. What do you say now, Sammy? Does it look better? Way better. I love how the colors blend together. So the sandy beach and the sea are done. Check out this amazing view. Ah, it's like I feel the sun's warmth and the sea breeze. Oh, where's my sunscreen? Sammy, it's too early to relax. We have more things to do, remember? Holy cannoli! Are we gonna place all of that on the painting? Yep, we'll need them a little bit later. So are you gonna rest or are you gonna help me? Of course I'll help slimes don't leave friends behind. Huh, interesting. What is that? Sammy, what are you doing? Did you find some sea treasure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, it's a disaster! I found tiny air bubbles on the surface! Huh? 
Oh, Sammy, nothing's wrong. We can fix that. What? They can ruin the whole picture. Shiver me cheddars. It's not perfect anymore. I'll show you one simple trick to get rid of the bubbles. Guys, you better ask an adult to help you. Take the torch and start moving it fast above the artboard. Like this. See? Wow, the bubbles disappeared! I didn't believe it until I saw it with my own eyes! I brought the hair dryer as you asked here. I have no idea how it can help you, though. <laughs> You'll see. It's another popular trick in resin art. Let's pour some resin here near the shore. And in the middle. Whoosh! And here! <laughs> Alrighty. Now take the hair dryer and start carefully blowing on the waves we drew. Guys, ask an adult to help you with this part. The airflow will be hot. Guys, to make the waves more realistic, place the hair dryer above and at an angle to the artboard. This way. Holy cannoli, it looks like the real sea blow more so! Wow, these waves are even better than I imagined! You know what can make this art perfect? I can guess, but seems like you want to show me yourself. <laughs> Seashells! Let's bring them on the shore! Okay, I'll start with this shell. I want to place it here. Yeah, nice, nice. But, uh, it'll look better on the other side. <laughs> then I'll put this one right in the middle. Now, now, Sue, put it back where you took it from. <sighs> Sammy, we're never gonna finish. Look, you make the right side and I'll make the left. Deal. Let's do this. Now let's give the resin time to dry. Today we're going to paint on these seashells. Right on them? Is that even possible? Of course! In the end, we'll get something unusual and very beautiful. We will paint here and here. I plan to decorate three seashells today, but I found only two. Sammy! Yes, did you call me? Yes, Sammy, I need your help. Could you find another seashell for me? A moment. So, I'm not a big expert, but this looks pretty much like a seashell. I need a flat seashell. It won't be easy, but I can do this. While Sam is searching, we're going to start with the first seashell. Take a palette and add the color needed. Let's start with the base color. Right here. Apply a thin layer of the paint. Spread it evenly. What do you say? Beautiful, right? Let's speed up the process a little. Follow my lead. Now let's take some bright paint and apply it in little strokes. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Any ideas about the final result? Hmm, I wonder how Sam is doing there. Where can the seashell actually be? Let's run a search! <laughs> here? No. Maybe here? Empty. Ginger, tell me, did you take the seashell? Oh, you're not helping me at all. Da -da 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 -da. I guess our future landscape is taking shape. Ba 
but it seems we'll need more of the blue paint. Let's decorate the sky with puffy clouds. Hey guys, give a thumbs up if you like that kind of craft. We will be super happy. Check out the beautiful landscape we drew. At this stage, our painting looks unfinished, so I want to add one thing here. Can you guess what it is? I saw it during our trip to the sea. I hope it looks more or less like the one I saw. I'm not such a great artist. <laughs> Draw thin, delicate strokes like these. All right. I remember there was a small outhouse nearby. Oh, I wish I could come back to that place. All right, I'm finishing the outline, so we can begin coloring. Last details, here. And here. I guess the windows look quite nice. One goes here. Perfect. And a couple more. Here and here. <laughs> here comes the final touch. Literally. <laughs> find the seashell? Uh, it's still in the process. I see. Do you want to see what I painted? Wow, that's awesome, Sue! Thanks, Sammy. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like the painting, too, and I'm gonna keep searching! Hmm, to find a seashell, you have to think like a seashell. <laughs> I guess it's not working. Could the seashell fly away to the islands? And I'm gonna find it! Meanwhile, let's get to the second seashell. I hope Sam will find the third one by the time I finish. I'm just making the finishing touches. Well, guys, are you ready to see the final result? Ha! Huh. Here, I'll definitely find that seashell. Hmm. I guess I need help. Ahoy! All hands on deck, bring me the seashell! Oh, there's no seashell either on this island or in the sea, so where could it be? So, Sammy, did you finally find the seashell? No, Sue. I searched throughout the house and sailed all the nearby islands. It's easier to find a treasure <gasps> chest than your seashell, Sue. A treasure chest? So, bingo! That's 
where I put it. I wasted so much time looking for it. <sighs> Sorry, Sammy. I just forgot. Guys, let's get to the third seashell. I accept all your apologies. It was fun anyways. I'm glad you had a little adventure, Sammy. <laughs> Does it remind you of something? Oh, I got it! It's an octopus! But I think something's missing. Let Sam Vador Dali add some touches. Uh, uh, I'm dying. Hop. Wow, Sammy, this is awesome! Guys, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!